Hi to everyone and welcome to the second webinar about heat recovery ventilation system. Before to start some important information, this video will be available on our social channels such as LinkedIn, YouTube and Instagram. And for any kind of question, you are welcome to type on our live chat and will be a pleasure to answer at the end of this presentation. I'm Andrea Consiglio and I belong to the Balsir Technical Advisors team. In the first webinar with my colleague Alessandro, we talked about the importance of air exchange inside building. Nowadays, we spend the biggest part of our time inside building and the inside building is exactly where we can find the biggest concentration of pollutants, such as dust, pollen, particulate matters and carbon dioxide. Furthermore, when air exchange is not provided correctly, we can have an increase of humidity, which leads to a formation of mold. Mold and humidity, as you know, are very harmful for our body. Ironically, this happens more frequently in new buildings rather than in the old one. This is because new buildings are made with improved heat insulation system in order to reduce heat loss. But at the same time, those heat insulation system makes building completely airtight. How can we provide correct air exchange inside building? For example, thanks to the natural ventilation, which means open the window frequently. When it's not possible, we can find in the market solutions such as the single flow mechanical ventilation system. How does it work? This system work, uh, we have air extraction from wet room and we provide fresh air to the habitable room thanks to air inlet they are installed in proximity of the window. But you need to take into account that both solutions doesn't fit with the requirement of energy consumption. This is because the air is provided inside the house at the exactly same temperature of outside. And at the same time, this air is not filtered before to be provided inside the house. For this reason, Varsir entered into the market with the double flow heat recovery ventilation system. How does it work? We have air extraction from bathroom and kitchen, and we provide fresh air in the habitable room, such as living room and bedroom, like in the single flow mechanical ventilation system. But in this case, we provide air at almost the same temperature of inside and at the same time this air is filtered before to be provided this thanks to the work of the heat recovery unit which is equipped with filters and heat exchanger so why a double flow heat recovery ventilation system is so useful because we can provide air exchange we can provide filtration of impurity and at the same time heat recovery as required by the modern principle of building sustainability. So today, in order to understand how this double flow mechanical ventilation system work, we are going to see all the components of the system following the flow path of the air. Let's start with the first component, which are the outdoor terminal. Outdoor terminal can be installed on the wall or on the roof. In a standard and advised installation, we mm, install the mm, incoming flow outdoor terminal on the wall and the outflow terminal on the roof. For this reason, Valsir can provide you several types of solution for wall installation and for roof installation. The second components are the connection pipe which are the elements that connect the outdoor terminal with the heat recovery unit and the heat recovery unit with the distribution boxes. Those type of uh, connection pipes can be made in two types of material. The first solution is the rigid solution in expanded polyethylene. This solution is suggested when we can have a formation of moisture. Or the second solution easier to install is the flexible one. When we need to take under control the formation of moisture, then the insulated version is suggested. In order to take under control the formation of noise, 
Then Valsir suggests to install a flexible silencer between the machine and the distribution boxes. And now let's see the heart of the system, which are the heat recovery unit. Valsir can provide you several types of solutions considering the size of the house where we want to provide air exchange, the type of requirement that we want to reach, and the type of installation that uh, we want to uh, do in the new building. We have two main type of machines. The first one is the ventilation unit with recovery that are equipped with fans, filters, and uh, heat exchanger. And then there is a second type of machine that are designed in order to provide you also heat recovery and the humidification with heat integration. Let's start with the first type of machines that they are uh, the machine that can provide air exchange with filtration. The first model that mm, we are going to talk is Aria Evo horizontal vertical. This machine can be installed horizontally and as well vertically. The first model is uh, the 170 cubic meters that can provide air exchange inside house with up to 125 square meters of surface, considering a room height of 2.7 meters and a rate exchange of 0.5 volumes per hour. And then there is a second version of 260 cubic meters that can provide air exchange up to almost 200 square meters. And then there is the new Aria Evo vertical. This type of machine can be stored on the, on the floor or hang on the wall. We have several sizes, starting from 150 cubic meters up to 600 cubic meters that we can provide air exchange for surface up to 450 square meters, considering, like before, a room height of 2.7 meters and a rate exchange of 0.5 volumes per hour. All the machines are made in expanded polypropylene. Thanks to the property of this material, we can have thermal and acoustic insulation, we can prevent air leakage, and the product is very light, so which means that we can carry and install the, the machine very easily. And at the same time, it can provide modern design. And a very important aspect is that it's a sustainable product, because in order to produce this um, type of machine, a very, very low amount of carbon dioxide is emitted. And now let's see how this type of machine works. In this video, we will show the Aria Evo horizontal vertical during the winter setup. So, like I said before, we have a second type of machines. Those machines that can provide the humidification and heat integration. When do we need this type of machine? When, for example, we have in the new house an underfloor cooling system. With the underfloor cooling system, we can have a formation of moisture on the floor. So, we need the humidification system. Using this type of heat recovery ventilation machine, we can provide air exchange and at the same time we can provide the humidification. And with some models, we can provide also heat integration. We have three types of machine with several characteristics that we are going to see in this uh, uh, chart. All the machine, Isotherma, Hydronica and Maxima, available in the Valsir catalog, can be installed horizontally and uh, vertically. They are equipped with the heat recovery and they can provide the humidification. 
only Hydronica and Maxima can provide also thermal integration. All the machines have a underfloor heating system management. What does it mean? That the machine can control, the brain of the machine can control the work of the heat recovery unit and at the same time the work and the setup of the radiant system. All the machine, uh, only isotherma, sorry, only isotherma and maxima are equipped with a compressor. This is because the hydronica version is designed in a different way. For this reason, isotherma and maxima need to be supplied during the summer setup with water between 15 and 20 degrees, while hydronica need to be supplied with water between 7 and 12 degrees thanks to the help and the work of an external chiller. During the winter setup, all the machines need to be supplied with water between 30 and 70 degrees. And now let's see how this type of machine works. In this video, we will see Maxima, which is the machine with, uh, the, um, with the compressor on board and uh, during the, during the uh, summer setup. We will see also the recirculation uh, circuit open in order to speed up the uh, dehumidification process. you have to take into account that all the machines have an um, energy label. What can we find inside the energy label? We can find the manufacturer name, the heat recovery ventilation unit name, and other important technical information, such as the energy class. You have to take into account that all the machines of the Valsir catalog are in A energy class, which means a very, very energy low consumption. And we can find inside the energy label also other important information, such as the acoustic level and the reference flow rate. And now, having said how the heat recovery unit works, we will see the last components of the system. Let's go on with the distribution boxes. Those elements are very important in order to share the exact and designed amount of air inside every single room of the house. They can be made into material. The first one is the plastic. Uh, we have several sizes available, starting from the mini box with six connections up to the 16 connections of the standard box. Or we can have a second solution, which is the insulated version. The case is made in metallic and is insulated. This type of um, distribution box is suggested when we can have a formation of moisture on the body of the case. For example, when we are using machine like uh, Hydronica, Maxima and uh, uh, Isotherma. And then the distribution pipes. Those elements connect the distribution box with the air inlet installed in every room of the house. They can be made with the area tube corrugated pipe, which is made with two layers, a smooth internal layer with additives in order to make it antibacterial and antistatic. And the second corrugated external layer as well in HDP in order to make it stronger and flexible, which means easier to install. When we don't have enough space in the subfloor or in the ceiling, then the green oval pipe are suggested. Thanks to its lower shape, 
those type of pipes can be installed in only 5 cm. Also, the green oval pipes have two layers, a smooth internal layer and the corrugated external one with antibacterial and antistatic characteristics. And then the last component of the system, which are grids and valves. You need to take into account that these are the only elements that are visible about the system. For this reason, Valsir can provide you starting from standard solution up to design one. So now let's see if there are some questions from you. I can see that there are no questions. So I imagine that everything is clear. And so here there is my invitation to the next webinar that will be on Wednesday, the 26th of May at 10.30 a.m. on the same uh, Facebook page and where we are, we are going to talk about the design of a heat recovery ventilation system. Thanks for watching and again my invitation to the next webinar.